Hi guys, welcome back to Craft Renewing. Miss Jamie here. So today we have something fun. Actually, my favorite flower is a tulip. Did you know that tulips come in all kinds of different colors? I've seen red and purple and yellow and white. Do you guys have you guys seen any other colors? Hmm. So this week in Craft Renewing. We are going to give you templates of a flower pot. Oops, it was upside down, silly me. And template of pieces of a tulip. Okay. So, and then you're also going to get some straws for the stems. And supplies that you can have at home are tape, washi tape, crayons, markers, pencils, scissors, pens to write with. Okay, so let's get started. So I did some of the work already. And what we did was we cut this out, these pieces, and we gave you one template for the tulip. And what we did, luckily Mr. Austin helped me, we took the template and we traced another one so I could have two flowers. You could do lots of flowers. You could do one flower, you could do five flowers. It's totally up to you. You're going to have straws in there. So what I did was I made stripes on mine. And so I just went down and I'm going to add color. You guys could do zigzags. You guys could do stuff like the doodle bug where you are the doodle bug. Sorry guys, doodle bunny. And make zigzags or sunbursts or X's all over your flower pot. You could write on it, which would be cool. You could name your flower pot. Sometimes I name my plants at home. Do you guys ever talk to your plants at home? So, I'm gonna finish coloring that. And then I was, I made a blue tulip and I'm making a yellow tulip here. I love spring with all the flowers popping up and everything. I think it's super fun. Some people are not just planting flowers. They are getting their gardens ready with seeds, and plants, soil, pretty fun stuff. Hopefully we've had our last snowfall, huh? So we can get our flowers going and our gardens. I like the idea of having two flowers so we went ahead and made two flowers and then we colored you guys could color first if that's easier and then trace cut it out okay so here is how I'm gonna put my tulip together I'm gonna take my main tulip right here and I'm gonna take a piece of tape. You could take your regular tape or your washi tape. You know how much I love my washi tape. And then you're gonna add it to the back. You could actually use glue too if you wanted, like a glue stick. You could even use wet glue if you wanted to let it dry. I like this one just because it looks like the petals are pushed up like dimension. It's just kind of, I think it's fun. It's like a peekaboo thing. So there's that one. And this one is ready to go. You guys can make rainbow tulips. That would be really cool. I'd love to see a rainbow tulip. That's a good idea actually. Okay, and then we have our pot and our tulips. And I'm gonna take my two straws. I'm gonna flip my tulips over. And I am going to tape this on my tulip. I think that's the most secure way to do it. You can use glue if you want to try. Might take a little while to dry. 
so that's why I'm using tape. We've got these fun colored straws. And then we're going to flip our pot over and we are going to tape our pot or our straw to our pot. Tongue tied today, huh? And I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to tape this other one. And I'm going to do a different height just because I think that might be a little cool. I don't know. So, here is our project this week. And if you guys want to add to the project and do like we did with the doodle bunny, you guys could come back through before you tape this all together. No? No, I need black. White's not going to work. And you could make a border. Um... On, can you guys see that? Make a border on your flower pot if you want. You can do all kinds of fun stuff. That's what's cool about this. You could write your name in the middle of the flower pot. You could write flowers in the middle of the pot. It's very cool. So, what's your guys' favorite flower? Let me know. Tulips are mine. I absolutely love them and all the colors that they come in. Okay, guys, see you in the next one.